Price showed such promise as a student at this and other schools that in 1871, he was offered a position as principal of a black school in Wilson. He taught there until 1873, when he resumed his own education at Shaw University of Raleigh with the intention of becoming a lawyer. Somebody quickly tell me how old was he in 1871 when he became principal of a school? Okay. You had the wrong word then. Okay. But he soon changed his mind about becoming a lawyer and transferred to Lincoln University in Pennsylvania, where our very own Sierra is attending, to study for the ministry in the Andrew Zion Church. He graduated in 1879 and spent another two years with the A.M.E. Zion Church Theological Seminary. In 1881, soon after his ordination, Price was chosen as a delegate to the A.M.E. Ecumenical Conference in London. While there, Bishop Hood urged him to make a speaking tour of England and other parts of Europe to call attention to the plight of black education in the South, and more specifically, to raise funds to establish a black college in North Carolina. His effectiveness as an orator drew large crowds and resulted in contributions of almost $10,000. This, plus the support of white residents of Salisbury, enabled him to establish Livingstone College and become its first president in October 1882, when he was 28 years old. Sponsored by the Zion Church, Livingstone was originally called Zion Western College until its name was later changed to that of the, the explorer and missionary, David Livingstone. The college began with five students, three teachers, and a single two-story building, but it grew rapidly become, to become one of the South's most important liberal arts colleges for blacks. Although he encouraged the support of Southern whites, just, uh, such as Josephus Daniels and uh, philanthropists such as Leland Stanford Collins, if you uh, turn the volume up on the computer or not.
So today we salute Reverend Dr. Joseph Price and Livingstone. With all the Livingstone alumni, please stand and be recognized. Livingstone College stands before the world today as the most remarkable evidence of self-help among Negroes in this country. And it continues. Uh, well, Mr. Price, is he still alive? No, ma'am. No. He, uh, he passed away at the age of 39 from kidney disease back in 1893. Kidney disease. That's right, that's Say again? Uh, you know what a kidney is? It's an important part of your body. It's in there and uh, you can't live without it. Okay? That's why you have to eat right, drink enough uh, fresh water, and exercise. Okay, we'll continue this a little later on. Thank you.